live red carpet to the Tony special, Nikki. We have SpongeBob himself, I am Ethan Slater. Starstruck! You are incredible. You are making your Broadway debut in SpongeBob. Yeah. And you are nominated for a Tony Award for that show. I feel like you should retire and maybe become a dentist now. I mean, dentist does it get better fun. than You're this? Done. You're oh, done. Oh man, it certainly feels like a pretty crazy way to start this career off. But uh, I'm just having so much fun. I hope I can keep doing it forever. I have a feeling you'll be able to. Ah. I think so too. Were you ever nervous about tackling this beloved character, this beloved cartoon, SpongeBob SquarePants? Yeah, you know, I mean, we've been developing the show for six years at this point. I mean, off and on, you know, two, three weeks at a time. But we did it in such little steps that my confidence grew each step of the way. And I, and I never really thought we were going to make it to Broadway. They kept on telling us, we're not going to move forward unless it's something that's really innovative and exciting and new. And each step we did have that, but only enough to get us to the next step. So little by little, I built this character and became a little more confident each time. Um, so by the time they announced that we were going to Broadway, it felt totally daunting to live out my lifelong dream of being on Broadway. But doing it as SpongeBob felt right. That's so exciting. And you're not just a performer. You write, you write music. So what other projects are you working on in your vast amounts of free, of free time? Oh, yes. Uh, I've got so, many, so much time to do all these things. But I had been um, working on a screenplay and, and a musical um, that I've been developing. I did a, a reading of it a couple of months before we started SpongeBob. That's exciting. Um, I will say writing is a really good during a Broadway show activity. It's quiet. It's quiet. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you can do it alone. So. I was reading up on you, and I read that you went to Camp Rama which is kind of like now a Broadway famous camp because Ben Platt went there and so did Casey Levy and Ethan Slater. Who would have thought? Camp Rama. We, all, we went to three different versions of the same camp. It's like a, it's a Jewish summer camp. Um, but all three of us had a similar experience, in, which is that like one of the great things about that summer camp was it fostered really great relationships, but also a love for the arts in a really, um, you know, stripped down kind of way. There, were, there weren't big productions. It was, you know, we did Grease where our only set was a tarp that there's a great picture of it falling down that in the middle of Grease Lightning. Awesome. It's like, it's mid song, it's falling down and we're all like looking over our shoulders like, are we gonna get crushed by the tarp? Some are loving. I know, uh, but it was in Hebrew, of course. So. Um, so I feel like, I feel like one of the great things about that was it was like, you know, build theater from the ground up, do what you can with the people that you like and, uh, it, it creates more creative people, maybe? I don't know. I love it. Well, wow. That process, I mean. Congratulations. Congratulations. Have fun tonight. Have fun. Thank you. Congrats. Thank Nikki, you so let's much. send.